All right, Shotgun King, let's do this. Let's see if we can get a nice little sweet run here. Nice, clean little Dubsky. We'll see how it's going. Hello, my friends. Are you ready for the reckoning? Your existence? Easy first floor. Just that easy. About 20 seconds or so to wrap that up. Not a problem. We, oh, oh, what a good start. A holy gunpowder. I mean, Zealots is an amazing. Give the pawns and Bishop more speed, but just straight... A straight buff. Like, half the time your buffs also give a debuff. But to get something that just straight up buffs you with no penalty on this side is, is a fantastic start. Fantastic. Like, just doesn't happen enough. Doesn't happen often enough, and I need more of it to happen all the time. So that's how you get a good run going, is to have a good first card. And we got it. And we are going to believe that our luck will continue and we will get a good run here. No. I don't have to win on the run, but I need the run to, like, not have me lose in the first four minutes, because people click off when you lose. <laughs> it's kind of how it goes. Win or lose, when a run ends... Actually, no, it's when a run ends, people click off. I'm not giving you militia, so I will take August presence so they can't come close to me. And uh, as a rook removes two pawns, that's fine. But yeah, I've learned from my YouTubing that doesn't matter if you're playing a PvP game or single-player game, once, like, the run ends or the match ends, a lot of people click off. Like, 10 to 20%, which is sig very significant. So... We, uh, come on with walking into where you're checking me, man. Not gonna come, come on with this. Give me a break, bro. Why'd you go over there? Just take my pain, bro. There we go. I need to actually clear these. Why, why are you moving into all the awful spots? I should be using my thing. Probably be helping there. Got all the gunpowder, but you guys are just moving all the weird spots on me. You're being weird. Stop being weird and just take the bullets to your face. It's not hard, just look at that. He did it just fine. Straight in the chin, like a champ. He'll be back next round, don't worry about it. Small fry harvest, plus one ammo max. Um, oh yeah, I was trying to remember what I had there. Um, gain one ammo each time you kill a pawn, it's all right. Uh, minus one firepower, boo. Can right click to fire all loaded shells. It's just never worth it, in my opinion, I don't like it. I guess we'll have a little extra ammo in. We'll have, we'll have ammo plenty. not that they had that many pawns. I need them to have more pawns. I'm gonna do this here to be a little bit closer. We're gonna work on... Of course you move right to check me. I can't kill you because then that guy's behind you. Oh my god, just stop being oppressive. I need... They, the problem is I need them to have more pawns. I need I need them to have more pawns. They don't have enough pawns. We're checked into a, a million bazillion different places here and I don't mm -hmm. like it. Uh, we can go here and maybe get like a twofer. Uh, or at least a one for. That helps out a lot actually. And then you're gonna come check us there but I'll move here work on you. So I need more pawns so the, their power pieces don't all, like, harass me at once. I need you to have more pawns or less power pieces, one or the other. That's what I need from this next card. It's because you're, you you all attack me too quickly. Add five pawns, though, and remove a pawn, a rook. That's quite good. Alright, so Blunderbuss does give me plus two power, but it reduces my fire arc, which is gonna be pretty bad. I need high accuracy to deal with the fact that I'm just like, got six power pieces on me all at once, so this would probably, like, make me lose, almost guaranteed. This adds more pawns, which will block them in, which is good, so they're not having, like, two rooks and a queen and a bishop and a knight all, like, up in my business on, like, round two, uh, turn two. Uh, it does give me royal loafers, which I almost never use, but I'll, I'll just take it. Right-click a target and fire on your next move. I just never, like, it just never seems I use it. Most of the time, I feel like just standing still works fine. I guess sometimes you're like, I'm, I need to attack and move at the same time, I guess can have its uses, I just never, I just never, I just never use it, like, when do I, I guess I can, like, I guess if I, I'm in check, I can, like, I'm gonna attack you and then move at the same time, like this, I mean, I guess there's, maybe there's use to it, I just need to think, like, yeah, like, here's where it'd be useful, yeah, you're in check, you wanna shoot him with you, I guess there is use to it, I just don't give enough credit, like, oh, we'll get you, and, uh, boom, I don't know, figured out, maybe I had, if I had ammo there. Yeah, maybe maybe it is good. Maybe I don't give that enough credit. Maybe I need to use that more. People have been telling me you don't you should use that, or they have told me. They have told me. I can just blow you away, right? There we go. That, that gets the job done. Maybe there's something to the royal loafers. Maybe I undersold them and they're actually quite good. I do not want to lose firepower and fire range for Pierce when half the time you're, the guy you're shooting at has nobody behind them, unless there's like a wall of pawns or whatever. Um, so I will, I will take more fire range, more ammo regeneration, exchange for the queen and king having more hit points. I don't love giving the queen more hit points. It means I can't one-shot you, but I'm not taking a firepower hit. It's just not happening. It's not the cards, and I won't tolerate it. Alright, so we are... I'm just going to use this. Let's get that all over here and blast through you guys. Aha, uh -huh, see, royal low for value. 
Wait, wait, I gotta go here. There we go. Roy okay, maybe the, maybe the royal lovers are actually good. Those times when you're in check and be able to shoot, like, shoot and move at the same time, it's actually kind of... It's actually kind of good. Actually kind of okay. Come here, queen. I know, you're, I know you want this. Don't you run from me. Oh, boy, huh? Wait, 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 wait! Royal loafers. Okay, that's actually pretty good. That, that's... Okay, if I actually... I think the problem I had with royal loafers before is because I just never remembered to use it, but... Now that I remember... Remembering to... If I can talk. Now that I'm remembering to use it, it's actually pretty good. Just gonna reload while he comes closer to me. Click it properly, thank you. Get you out of here, there we go. Hey, royal loafers, actually pretty good. If you're paying attention, which I often am not. Deal firepower damage to a non-king target. That's not bad. Um, add a Rook of Star turn 15, which I can just hit with the wand. Um, or, what's this? One firepower for each empty soul slot. Uh, means you have to constantly use your slow... Yeah, slows? You have to constantly... Why can I never talk? What's wrong with my brain and my mouth? You have to constantly use your souls to get any value from that, which I just never bother with. Conscription. I think we just use this. The one of Wrath. Worst... Co Worst case scenario, it's neutral, and I just use that to take out the, the rook. As long as I don't get any other, as long as I don't get any other backup related things, we'll be okay. Let's go over here and um, move this way and shoot you. And I don't want to shoot these pawns because it might clear a path for him to get to us. We can shoot over this way, soften them up. Let's put it up. Oh, I guess you got. I guess you got a line on me there, huh? See how it is. I need to deal with you. Reload here. Can I get you? I gotta remember I have the Royal Loafers if need be, so if I haven't needed it yet, so it's fine, but... If we need it, it's there. Do I have, I have August Presence, that's why the pawns are like just shaking there and not actually coming near me. Rook back up, I mean... I'm just gonna go ahead and... Do that, just be rid of you, right? Here we go, easy, easy, neutral... Thing there, let's go... To the king here. Come here. Come here, nerd. Let's hope I'm get you in two shots, but no dice. And be going from this realm. Easy. Easy, easy, clear. Love to see it. Feels good, is good. Alright, what next? The moat could be useful for us. Um, add three pawns, kind of box boxes them in a bit better. I really don't want to have a piercing truth, because then I have less power, right? So yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll take the moat, give him a few more pawns. I find most of my shots, I'm not trying to pierce through anything. Sometimes, yeah. Especially early on, but... Quite often you're fighting, you're just firing at one guy, so the pierce is, isn't that useful. Go up here. I remember I have the royal loafers if need be. I mean, let's, let's take a shot from here, though. So far, I'm not really needing these last couple rounds, which is fine. I'm fine with not needing it so super much. Um, don't want to go there. I'll go here, I guess. You can't actually hit me from there because you stop in the water, so I'll just shoot over here and be rid of the queen. Come over here. Deal with you. A rook back up. It'd be a shame if I just murdered it and it didn't matter at all. Goodbye. All right, uh, reload. Be rid of you. And then, uh, take you out. Do I... I'm just gonna clean up the pawns. I'm not... I'm not playing... Pl I'm, not, I'm not playing your games. Come here, nerds. Think you can threaten me? Be gone. No problem. Oh, chill. Whew, so friendly. <laughs> just get up in here, all right? Dude, all right. It's pretty good. Pretty, pretty good run so far. All right, not too bad. Taunting Hop. Um, giving the king less hit points is fine. I don't really tend to jump over peace as much, but it's there. Um, giving you cavalry at turn 15 is... Ca cavalry? It's not great for us. Caval... Cavalry? Cavalry? Um, because they get at turn 15 instead of turn 20, so it's like three guys coming in. I do not want to give you pikemen. Pikemen and militia always... Always make me lose almost every single time. You get pikemen, you get militia, your odds of losing skyrocket. So I probably don't want this. The extra two firepower would be nice, but not at the price of 30 fire arc when my accuracy is already not that great. I like you'll actually do less damage most of your shots unless there's like three of them in front of you because you'll be like missing to the side so much. So probably taunting hop and uh, we'll deal with the cavalry and the king will have one less hit point. So more likely to hit him in two shots. Maybe we'll work with it. That wasn't a great round for us card-wise, but we'll just deal. We will deal. I haven't been using the Royal Loafers, because I haven't been needing to. Haven't been needing to. If I, if I need to, I can zap the Queen. You can't actually hit me from there, so I'm just gonna get you, and then come back for you. And then we reload and carve up some of this silliness. Reload. Watch out for this. 
you save the one until we're actually like in trouble. Let's go take you out there. You can't actually get me from there, so I'm gonna clean up some of this. Reload. I could actually just go for the king real quick. Um, you are a threat to me. I can move here. Bop you. Bop. Oh, can't bop you if I don't have enough ammo. Ammo would be good. Reload. Got two there because of the sweet, sweet elite gem. We take that. We deal with you guys. Easy. 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 Could be a win here. Could be. Maybe. Or a, or a, or a loss. Ooh, more firepower and better accuracy. Um, the Rook and the two Knights will come five turns sooner, but will it be worth it? Maybe. Oh, it's either that or have another Queen at turn five. So clearly we're going for this. Two lookout towers, though, might be rough. You're gonna have, oh, you're gonna have four pieces coming in at turn 10? Wait, is that, is that turn 10? Yeah, that's, well, that's gonna be a problem. That's like four pieces, that's four power pieces at turn 10. I gotta, I need to stay near this corner so like one shot them when they come in. Uh, maybe? Stay close to the corners? Uh, I don't know, man. I feel like we've made a, possibly a terrible life choice here. Um, reload here. And work on this. Can you, you can actually get me from there. Need you gone. That's fine. And shoot up here, weaken them a little bit. Good hit, actually. Alright. Not even using my souls, I barely do. Alright, this is a bit ooh, this is a bit dicey. Um we move here. Bop you. You can actually hit us next turn if we miss, which could happen, so I'm not gonna take those chances. Um good accuracy on that. Gonna have more pieces coming in. Let's hit you there and get rid of these rats. We'll move here. Be rid of you. Did, I didn't actually mean to move there. I meant to shoot that pawn, but whatever, it works. I'm just gonna want to wrath you. And I'll take out that pawn, I guess, and move here. And I don't want to get overwhelmed by these guys, so we're gonna shoot them down a little bit. That's not so bad. And yeah, we're we're fine here. We're making it work. Get out of here, all those knights. I don't think so. Six damage. Love to see it from that distance. Not bad. Not too shabby. Doing all right. Not a bad run. Um, plus three ammo max. Not terrible. I could use a bit more ammo. Add three pawns is... Uh, it's just more things to shoot down. Remove one knight, add two bishops is... Oof, that's a net gain of like five hit points. This is a net gain of what, like nine? I don't know. Plus two firepower if I'm on the board's edge. I could just stay on the board's edge, maybe. But if I stay on the board's edge, then the rooks will probably be end up checking me if I'm unlucky, which is not amazing. Um, I think we should go for more ammo and deal with the pawns. I think that's a, that's the safer bet. That's the safer one. And uh, we just deal with that and don't worry about pinning ourselves on the side like a doofus. Kind of yeah, they got so much hit points. Yeah, maybe made a poor life choice. They've got a lot of hit points. These guys. They're, they're, they're durable. I do have August Presence. I'll just try and bum rush the king down. Reload here. Here they come. Turn 10 already. Come so quick. They're, oh, just check me right off the bat. Oh, that's not great. I could just try and shoot you. And, uh, I'm not taking the chance. Oh, come on. You had to go there? B bro! 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 Wait, I can just... I can just zap you. Surely this hits. I'm taking the chance. Whew. It was a risk, but I, I was confident. They had one hit points. The odd, the, like the odds were in our favor that we that we got that. that the rogue of end there if none had hit, which is that's a thing that can happen. All right, I need to clear out all these pawns that want to ascend on us. All right, and we reload. These guys won't come in because August presence. Oh, that's not great for us, but I can just body you. That'll help a little bit. I need to have you not be there. Um, I'll move here. Not great. I'll take this guy out here if I can. That's not so bad, maybe. Here to you. Take out you. Okay, we might be okay. Might be okay. I think, I think we're looking pretty good. Yeah, yeah, we're fine. We're doing all right. Four power pieces on turn 10. Forget about it. Not even worried about it. Easy, easy run. Easy run. So many years with a new subject, so much work to make them feel welcome and safe. I'll reduce the glass shards by one royal individual with a shotgun. The White King would not indulge us, not one more floor. Quite literally bursting with rage, he loomed out to crush this egotistical maniac. He's crazy. He's gone mad with indignation. Did I use that right? I think I said that right, right? All right, no, that's a problem. I gotta kind of like just rush the king. Use this and just like bum rush the king, maybe? Is that going to be like a winning play? Just to be like, not today, Satan. Not today. Right, I, I can just, 
I gotta deal with you, unfortunately. Go away. And then hit you some more. Just, just abuse you. Alright, so all the extra power pieces coming in. Just rush the king before it gets out of hand here. Oh, we got this. <laughs> oh, you're too big! You take a four tiles, it's so easy to shoot you down! Oh, it was easy! In the end, it was easy. And so it was that the wrath of the Black King finally carried him to victory. His turn to steal the White King's castles and subjects. They would have to endure his terrible rule once again. Cheer up, he would tell them. At least thou didn't get blown to pieces, as he upheld his shotgun and laughed. Undefeated, he had learned nothing. It wouldn't be too long before a new White King rises up and the whole story starts anew. There it is. You'll love to see it. Smash that like button if you like Shotgun King and you want to see more of it on this channel. Let's go!